the game does not like it when I leave to go to another screen. This is one of those games that's like, how dare you pay attention to anything other than me while you play? All right, so we had experimented with a couple of weapons and wound up switching back to the sword and shield. I would like, I think, perhaps to try the spear out. I didn't wind up loving the bow as much as I had hoped I was gonna. So that one we might have to wait on. And we just got a bunch of shit in the trunks. So we're gonna have to figure that out too. Because we are overflowing. Uh, to the point where we can't even fit everything in. Which is... Not great. Uh, we can open the shop, though. So, like, maybe some of this... Maybe it's time to... To say goodbye to a thing or two. I don't know what these books are for. I'm worried that these, like, have a reason to hang on to them. Uh, but they look like maybe we just sell them. They might just be lore... I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is we got about 4,700 buckaroos. Uh, so let's see about maybe selling some of this stuff. Oh, so it gives me a break point. This says 3,000. Is that because I know how much that's worth? Interesting. I don't know why there's that 275. Yeah, so it knows that 275 is somewhere between hardened steel and fabric. So then up on this end, I know that these are all somewhere below 3000. Okay, so I it, it doesn't really tell me that much. It tells me that they're between 275 and 3000, maybe? I don't know. Is it cuz I haven't found out any of the prices on these guys? That's exactly why it is. Okay, so let's try and sell one of these. Uh, to help maybe narrow down future pricing. And here's how I think we're going to do it. It's not going to be popular with customers, right? Like sometimes you're just out there to try and get it done. But we know it's somewhere under three grand. So let's start them all at 2,500. And then we can start working from there. Because, you know, if the prices are bad, people will come in and complain. That's fine. They're entitled to. Will is uh, very supportive of consumer protections. But this way, we will be able to start getting a bead on some of these other prices. We'll do the same thing with this golem chisel, although I can't imagine it's as, uh, quite as sought after as some of these wondrous texts. Schneider's house, resubbing. Four month streak. How are you, buddy? I'm glad to have you here. Yee! Uh, Schneider, for those of you that have been missing it, still cruising on his Nuzlocke run. Uh, so if you're not following him, you should do so. Pretty pretty close to affiliate too, right, Schneider? Gonna get some gonna get some first cracks at uh some Oh, he liked that for 2500 you will have some first crack opportunities for um, the first badges on his channel once he goes live. 2500 for that as well. The golem chisels were a no-go. And it looks like this isn't far off. So hang on a minute. Let's do a real quick here. Let's try you down to two grand. And I'm going to do you. You were It said you were way off. So let's try you. Uh, let's try you also at two grand just for a hot second to see if we get any takers. Meanwhile, we got Golem Histories 3 and Golem Designs 3. We will try those in a similar pricing point. So you... So has it done anything to change that pricing? Eh, not really. I don't see a different indicator yet. Um, so we're going to try you at 2500 because you're three, right? And this is two. That's interesting. So the number one sold for more than the number two. Affiliate very soon. That's awesome, dude. I am pumped. Uh, it was very exciting for me when I got mine. So I'm sure you will be similarly stoked. 
Two grand was a no-go on that one. Okay, this is still grossly overpriced. We've offended her. She wants nothing to do with us. We'll try him for 16, Hondo. See how we get. I wish that there was like a third level of feedback to be like, mm, almost, bruh. All right, so we sold a book. You are still too high, so we're gonna try you down to two grand. I mean, regardless of if we wind up selling a ton of stuff today, you know, obviously we've made some pretty big headway um, by making some pretty splashy sales. Like, some of this stuff is bringing in more money than we've ever had in one place at one time. So you are somewhere between the Golem Chisel and the Golem Volume. Which could actually be quite low, so hang on. Golem Chisels, I'm actually going to try at 1,000. And you were right below the Golem Chisel, so let's try you at 900. I worry that that one's going to wind up sparking the, like, oh, what a sucker. I can't believe he let it go for this price. So you bought that for 1700 but you were sad about it. Two grand, but you were sad about it. All right. So I am a monster is what it's boiling down to. Yeah, so Golem Designs 2 wasn't great at two grand, still wasn't great at 1700 so what happened here was I sold Golem History for big, big bucks and thought that we had, like, finally hit the big time. Uh, but it just happened that I sold the most expensive thing I had right away. So that's on me. Let's try you for seven and see if we get any takers. Regardless, this is going to wind up being enough to maybe buy some, uh, some upgrades. And then I'm going to take you down to eight. We'll see how that gets us. He's pissed about it. Chris, he says, what are you trying to pull here? I'm going to haul you in front of the village elders. He is a village elder. He's going to haul me in front of him. Come on, someone wants to buy something. You guys all look spendy. You're like, oh, man. All this gold, it's so heavy in my knapsack. This dude loves golem chisels. He needs them. Just not at that price. Oh, God. All right. All right. You guys have convinced me. We're going to bring down some serious pricing decreases. I suppose in the long run, for the sake of keeping on well with my community. I'd rather give them away to song and then upgrade later to higher, better prices. God damn it, I knew I shouldn't have said. It was just one of those things you say to try and convince people that you're worth doing business with. Oh, now they're fleecing me. Except for those books, that's, I'm still screwing people apparently. Let's see, uh, so you're not worth that. You're maybe worth three hondo. Again, let me see if we can get maybe a couple more sales out the door before we close tonight. Glass lenses weren't worth a ton. These guys we still haven't found the price for. That's one of the things that's on the table right now. So this was a deal for a thousand. So that one we know we can kind of push a little higher. And these ones we haven't decided anything yet. Ooh, is this another one of the big boys? No, but it's a similar one. So maybe I'll get a similar price. The other one sold for 2,500. Let's try this one for like 2,200 and see where it lands me. Um, wait, that's not what I wanted. Those are the ones I already am trying to sell and not doing successfully. I want goal of history which is clearly a book of much greater caliber. 
Uh, and we can try... So you, we know, are worth at least a thousand. So let's try you for 13... Let's try you for 1400. And Golem King Energy Crystals, I'm not going to sell. Because that just smacks to me of required boss crafting so we don't want to we don't want to ditch that okay so we finally are selling stuff we're just selling them for too cheap hey we got one right on the money i love it also i'm loaded will is the richest a merchant has ever been in this town uh, foundry rests we're not selling, empowering crystals we're not selling, whetstones and stuff. Like, I probably don't need, like, these partial stacks, right? Like, the full stacks are fine because we can put those to work. But the partial stacks feel a little unnecessary. They're just taking up space. Yeah, so as we nail it, like, I Will, like, keeps a ledger, Schneider. So... Once I've sold something, he remembers the prices he sold them at, so I can kind of adjust from there. The tricky part is getting that first purchase out the door. And there's kind of two methodologies that I've used as I've done this. Um, one is setting it as like a moonshot, and hopefully they buy it. If they don't, you bring it down. Um, but the other is doing it where if it's set too low, they give you like those golden coin eyes there that tell you that you're an idiot and you just let it go for a song. Much like that one, um, which at least gives you a floor, right? So then you can kind of play the hot cold game between the two extremes. I still don't have equipment to sell a ton of. And the last time we sold any equipment to the warrior, it was for like a completely negligible price. Like, I don't even know if we bothered recording it in the business ledger. We, um, we certainly have enough money to play with that we're going to be able to afford some upgrades. I did buy the enhanced cash register, so part of it is that I'm getting more money. Like, each purchase is yielding a little bit better cash. So wait, you don't want these even at that price? What is the sweet spot, people? More economics than combat until maybe later. Kind of. Like, the economics seemingly is just supplemental to the combat side, right? Like, the economics doesn't yield any kind of end game. It's not like the point of the game is to run Moolighter into uh, a Fortune 500 company. Um, instead, we're still trying to clear the dungeons. It's just that this facilitates an easier way to do so. Did I sell it for 420? Is that what I did? Will knows. Will's like, yeah, dog. All right, so let me move as much of this stuff over. I would love to have one of these be for equipment and one for crafting, but I don't think we're gonna quite have enough room. I mean, that's not terrible. We'll get a better start here. Let me do this and take out the partials like I was just talking about. Um, I'm going to use these foundry rests in about two hot seconds, so that's fine. They can stay. Crystallize energy. The golem volumes. 420 is the sweet spot. I see. That's how you know. That's how you know you found yourself a deal. All right, so I'm going to move these guys over as well. And then next time we have Moonlighter open, I think we're going to try and sell off some stuff out of this box to get like some of the remnants out of the way. Um, we're going to want to make potions before our, our trip into the dungeon. We are starting a fresh dungeon. What is the other weapon I have on me? The bow. That's probably worth it. Do we know your story? We came to visit Renoka because we heard someone defeated a huge guardian. Yeah, it was no big deal. He was actually kind of a chump. Um, ooh, Le Retailer is not open at night. What a jerk. Oh, hi, this book. Man, she's still reading that book. It must be really good. 
So we know we want potions. Um, we have two that we have equipped, so we're gonna want eight of them. Cause I wanna be able to have a second stack with me as we travel. It's not the button I wanted. So let's do this. Get that locked down. And then I also wanna look into some enchantment here. I don't think, yeah, 16 grand would eat up a lot of what we just made. But, I mean, that's an over 50% increase on the sword. More NPCs arrive as you go. I'm about that. I love, I'm like a big sucker for games that have you like building a town. That's always been a big thing for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy this upgrade. Because we've been... You know, the short the sword and shield's been pretty trusty for us. And that is a substantial upgrade. So I think it's worth. Um, and then what can I do over here? No new retailing yet, so we're gonna have to wait on that. We can probably do some shop upgrading though. So the cheap sale box, I think this is probably a way to let me unload the bits and bobs, like what I was just looking at where I had like remnants. Comfy bed that gives me extra health in the morning. Extra space for your items sounds lovely. I'm a big fan. And then we can actually upgrade the shop later. Uh, but that's gonna have to come at another time. Oh no, we have the shop level one I can get. So that gives me four extra tables. That's that's worth. Oh, look at this. We are actually going to get a the construction dude's going to do some work, huh? Oh, snap. Tom Nook and the boys. That's what you call a good job. Huh? It doesn't seem like a big change. Well, beauty comes from within. I like how handyman just straight up is telling you he did a good job. Yo, handyman, you did a great job. So, the corner of the counter, place something there. Money, money. Item prices are not stored in the notebook when the popularity is not neutral or the valuation comes from wealthy customers. Interesting. So, a wealthy customer will hit me with the top hat mustache and then they just splash cash for whatever they want. More table room means more money. You're not wrong. Every visitor adds a generous tip to their payment. Oh, ho, ho. All right. I'm about that. And then this. Yeah, so this is going to let me dump off remnants. So hang on before. we. Oh, man, does my little uh, my counter flips open and close now, too. Uh, We got an extra chest out of the deal. And this chest got upgraded, so now there's two pages. I love this. This I love. Okay, so this is gonna stay as my, like, this is stuff I wanna keep box, right? Um, I don't know if the golem volumes are anything that are craftable yet. This stuff can come out for now, I suppose, because I don't really know what it does. And then this stuff is good. Okay, so my craft box was actually a pretty quick solution. We're gonna make one of these the equipment box. So the one that is empty, I'm gonna take this. No, you know what? That can be part of this box now. Cause there's gonna be room. And then I want the odds and ends out of here. Cause we're gonna go dump those. So like you can come along half a stack of water spheres, it's partial rune tools. The plant ones we're gonna hang on to um, because those are stacks I'm probably gonna fill up momentarily because we are going into the plant dungeon. So that stuff I'm not worried about until we've seen kind of like a bunch of them. There's all these news articles about abolishing the tipping industry and Will is like, no, -uh, I'm putting this pottery on the table. You guys are nuts. 
At Schneider's request, we're going to try the 420 sweet spot. And then this, we're going to try at 500. Just get this stuff ready for the next time we've got customers in the store. Um, you sell for a decent amount, I would assume. Uh, gold runes actually don't have a bunch of them in storage, so hang on, they're gonna stick around. Right now, I guess I'm not using my sale box for anything. Because I'm gonna have so much, st well, no, this garbage here I'm gonna use it for, okay. Let me dump off... Some of this wasn't necessary, because it's not like I'm opening Moonlighter right now. But I like, I like to tidy up the house before I leave for a dungeon crawl. Just seems, seems like the smart thing to do. Alright, and then Blacksmith has... Oh wait, whoa, you had more to say. I'd like to buy a souvenir from the forest dungeon, but those artifacts are still just so darn expensive. This is the one I missed. No one has ever defeated a guardian before. This is going to put Renoka back on the map. They even reopened the forest dungeon in celebration. Darn tootin'. You look well today, Will. What can I do for you? So why did you have an exclamation point? Ah, because you have something new to talk to me about. The Venom Short Sword, which requires quite a bit of stuff that I have never even seen. So that might be a bit. Um... We've tried the big sword, we've tried the gloves. So a spear would be nice. Maybe we'll make a spear. What am I wearing for armor? We don't have a helmet yet, so I definitely am gonna wanna make a helmet. I have an upgraded steel set other than the helmet. My man, Andre, what you got for helmets? Oh, we're in there. We're in there, we got helmets. You want helmets? We got helmets. And then watch this move straight over to enchant it. A lot of people don't think of that. You buy a chapeau, you walk around, you're like, hey, check out my fancy new hat. Fools, you want those enchantments. Fresh potions and the odd enchantment or, or two are available here. But what I'd like is some enchantments. So I'm glad you had them available. Oh man, I can enchant that another time and take it even higher. Maybe we'll just spend all of our money enchanting the broom until Broomchan is like an unstoppable force. Oh, interesting. I had forgotten about these like specialty recipes. All right. Getting, getting sidetracked by all the fun, shiny things. Crazy how you get enchantment early. I figured you'd have to unlock it. It's probably done because the uh, the equipment system is so simplistic. Ooh, something I did just unlocked a new guy. The Hawker. As a Hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. Yo, guys, there's an entire store dedicated to playing dress up in the Moonlighter shop. Let's go we gotta go make 20 grand so that we can invite a dude to sell us like decorative vases um and then we're gonna need more room for moonlighter in general so look we got stuff to do why does it stay lit like this it's like it keeps telling me to come look at something new and fresh maybe i hadn't looked at the new options oh it was the chest It also means Andre has something new that I didn't look at, so we gotta check that too. There we go. Alright, that was bugging me. We're done now. Um We got buddies. Sentinel turret unable to shoot. Oh so these are those idiots that bother me when they shoot out the big stream of water, but he's bad at it and doesn't do a good job. Tiny slime from the golem dungeon that gives the stun effect to its master's weapon. Um, I want to, let's try a new shooter boy. He seems cute. I like the flying guy, but like we should spread the love. 
fashion shop absolutely we are gonna do some fashion some fashion lighter it might be fashion lighter forest dungeon dungeon available to heroes not recommended for merchants so i don't understand am i a hero now or still do they just think of me as a merchant i mean obviously i de i defeated i defeated a guardian yeah fashion lighter okay we're gonna go fashion lighter i think that's the better fit so here we are in the beautiful forest dungeon we have seen some of the forest dungeon previously there is the odd chance of the forest dungeon like crossing over into the dungeon we've already been a part of so this is not exactly like completely new that dude packed a bit of a wallop this mushroom bouncy boy hey you can knock that right off oh boy we do big big damage though huh preserved root and ancient wood no probs we'll take them both we still got we still got light bag space folks i didn't finish this guy off i just thought i finished him off ow Ooh, this guy heat seeks get out of here he was a level two all right so my excitement to explore a new place has already led me to burn through a potion probably a little more than a potion if i'm honest Oof. Oh, boys. Not going great. I gotta approach those guys with my shield up. I brought this shield for a reason. I'm playing Moonlighter like I play Dark Souls right now. Just every enemy is a an opportunity to YOLO. What is going on in here? I feel like these guys were having a party that I just interrupted. Like, did we just ruin someone's reunion? We'll read that note when we take our uh, when we take our sauna break. Right off the bat, I feel obliged to say that Forest Dungeon soundtrack is delightful. All right, so it looked like this guy dropped upgraded slime juice which I am hopeful will mean better potions in a bit. I don't like the burning feet uh, floor traps. I'll be frank. Yeah, we ruined the fun. Fertilizer modified seeds. Don't know how they were modified, but I trust it. Our pendant is charged. Burn through this guy before he can start jigsawing. You're going to bounce off that, yeah? Idiot. All right. Ooh, more notes. All right, cool. Patterns. Oh, yes. These dungeons do indeed have patterns. You may think they are random. You may even think they're chaotic. But no. No, they are actually quite the opposite. There is a reason and repetition. Some sort of divine guide? A template of sorts followed every time the dungeon rebuilds itself. For instance, we all know there are three floors to a dungeon, but have you noticed how this healing spring appears on every floor? And how it always appears on the path towards the next floor? Place not only to assist and heal, but also guide. These dungeons basically want you to find the treasure. I mean, when you say it that way. Um, we do have one area left to explore. Get the hell out of here. There we go. Getting back into it. The... The scenery in this dungeon, though, I don't think is as fun. If I'm honest. Oops. Um, all right, so we could go down and challenge the crazy dungeon, but I don't think that's our goal right now. I think we're very much on a 
uh, forest dungeon exploration. Is there a spot to store items if you fill up? I can actually send them back to Moonlighter at times, or if I earn enough money. So as we're going through the dungeon, I've been earning money that lets me charge up my two special abilities. The merchant emblem lets me drop basically the equivalent of a Diablo town portal um, to allow myself to just go back and dump stuff off. Otherwise, a big part of the game is really kind of doing this inventory management juggling. Oh, I never put my helmet on. That's kind of clutch. Yo, look how badass we look. Um, so it's uh, it's kind of a cool trade off. We have yet to discover the perpetrator who, as of a year ago, destroyed several of our experiments. Now, much of our research materials are disappearing on a daily basis. Interesting. OK. Um, I don't we're not really carrying a ton of stuff. So if this boss is rowdy, I don't know that we're going to try and port out what I should do, though. Let's top off how many potions I'm holding. That seems smart. OK, it's a tree boss because we're in the forest dungeon. Oh, he's just getting housed. Bud, you might want to stop introducing yourself and actually start this fight. because I'm done with you. Get out of here. Get out of here. What do you think? I was some merchant. Nah, dog. I'm a hero. You weren't expecting me to have uh, been so successful in my mercantile efforts that I was coming in here with upgraded gear, were you? They weren't ready for the smoke. I don't like this enemy. He's got the uh, like the tongue whip. The uh, the stun on our weapon is paying huge dividends because I'm able to stun lock some of these easier enemies. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, my bags are full, aren't they? All right, so now we've done it. Ooh, uh, a nice potion, you say. Uh, so let's do this. Let's use you. And use you right out of the old inventory screen. That'll let me pick these up. What do we got? All right, we got mysteries, which are not my favorite. Um, You're just rich jelly which we already are sitting on a ton of back at the house. So the other thing I can do is if you see here, this magnifying glass down here, this merchant mirror, stuff that I'm carrying that I, I don't especially need, um, I can just sell at a limited rate directly from my pouch in an effort to keep some kind of monetary gain out of it. Um, let's sell the half stack of life fluid since we already have a full stack up above take these other mystery boys with us for now until we find out what's going on. Look at how jittery this thing is. You see that? Like, chill out, man. Have some water. Take a seat. Relax. Of course, all of these guys would only drop the thing I just threw away. Um... I'm hoping to see the hot springs in an effort to kind of know which direction I want to go last. More patterns and secrets for those div uh, diving so far as the third floor. Have you ever felt overburdened carrying just too much loot, too much treasure, but you don't want to stop. Just can't stop. Then have I got something for you. Who is writing this in this book? Like he's like he's running an infomercial. Uh, cause I want to hide her at Moonlighter, if I'm honest. Hidden somewhere on the third floor, between where you start and where you end. The end here being the massive creature at the bottom of the dungeon. Uh, meaning the, the dungeon's end is more than likely your end. But, between those two spots, one may notice a sparkle. A glimmer of something just beyond a pit of infinite darkness. If you're brave, I ask that you give it a jump. See, see what's down there. So we've actually done that, and that, I guess, solidifies what I thought when we found it last. If you guys remember, in the Golem dungeon, we fell into a pit like that and found what was like a big silvery treasure chest. And I posited that maybe that chest was, in fact, persistent across dungeon runs, and you could use it to store stuff. Uh, and I 
I feel like my hunch has just been confirmed. Ooh, I don't like this room. Ooh, don't like it at all, in fact. That was a not so pleasant. Interesting, so this is a dead end, but... Oh, I guess that's like the equivalent in the golem dungeon. They have that room where you kind of step out out of the little outcropping of rock. That's basically like this dungeon's version of that, it would appear. All right, spinny mushroom boy, we can just toast. Oh, and then these guys won't really bother me until I'm ready to bother them. And then I goof it up. I miss my, I miss time my entry and get made a fool of. Okay, so like this one can destroy a curse when I place it next to something. So what I'm gonna do is take this guy in, he'll destroy the curse and we know what these are now. They're nutritive waters. Interesting. Um, and then you're gonna destroy an artifact upon going back to town. Petals don't seem like as big a deal. Magic wood might be. The wind tree egg to me sounds like one of those pets that we can potentially farm. Uh, I wish we had enough money to maybe take a trip back. Because now I'm starting to find enough stuff that like I want to take it all home. In fact, maybe we'll do that because this is quite a bit of like brand new material. So we might be able to do some crafting. And I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. I really want to try and fight this next boss though. All right, here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to sell everything that's left in this box. We're going to keep plugging forward. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. We get our portal. Love it. We're going to get our cake and eat it, too. All right, so I'm literally just going to go dump stuff off. Um, maybe not, because they always there's mention made of like making sure you go in in the nighttime with the forest dungeon now open. Some old recipes are popping up. The forge is ablaze and ready to craft whatever you may need. All right, so he's got like the hookup. We've got the upgraded versions. So some more magic wood, we can upgrade our steel helm. All right, so we in there, we're getting to it. Knight short sword. Yeah, so it's just a matter of you can go pure damage or you can get damage supplemented by some kind of a uh, bonus attack. Um, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and make the spear. I don't have enough gold for that. I'm not going to make anything because I'm very poor. And so given the fact that we spent that money to warp out, maybe it is worth us opening Moonlighter for the day. Um, let's see. This can be the catch-all box. So right now, I don't know. I don't know shit about shit. That stuff is a complete mystery to me. Um, I don't want to sell some of this because I know I'm going to need it for the stuff I'm trying to make. So here's what I'm going to do. All this stuff is going to come with me. Empowering crystal, you can chill. Gold runes come with me. Extra stack of plant flesh can chill. Rune tool come with me. We're gonna try and find some pricing on some new items in an effort to make up some more scratch. Yeah, see, like I don't, we know 60 is the floor. So somewhere between 60 and 1275, it would appear for many of these guys. So let's try and sell you 
for 600. And we're going to try and do a set of strong leaves. You're worth almost nothing. So maybe I don't sell you at all. Meanwhile, these rune tools could potentially be worth plenty. All right, let's open up for...